Alright, I'm here with a collection video showing off uh, one, of, one of my better collections, the, uh, the PlayStation 3. And uh, the PlayStation 3 is a really, really great system. I think a lot of people really don't give it the credit that it deserves. Uh, it's a really great system. I, I like it a lot better than the Xbox 360. I'm no, I know I'm in the minority on that one. I don't know, I just like... I don't know, I think the, the exclusive library is tons better than the 360. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, I really like the 360 a lot. I mean, I, <laughs> I really like the PS3 a lot. I think it has a ton of great exclusives. And it was it was my primary system um, last generation. I have a lot of Wii games, but, you know, the Wii really doesn't get a lot the games. The PS3 and 360 does. So, uh, yeah, I only have a few 360 games. Well, I have a pretty sizable amount of PS3 games. So, uh, let's get started here with <clears throat> 3D.GameHeroes, which I <laughs> have yet to play, but... Um, I got this for real cheap, and I heard it was good. I hear it's like a Zelda game, which it sounds neat, so I'll have to give this a go real soon. Batman Arkham Asylum. And uh, Batman Arkham Asylum is one of my favorite games of the last generation now. It's kind of weird calling it last generation, because, I mean, technically all the next-gen systems are out now, so they're current-gen, but... Yeah, this is one of my favorite games of the last generation, and it, it kind of stinks that, um... You know, it... The other games aren't as good, <laughs> you know. I don't, I don't like Arkham City at all. Like, I really don't like that game. Um, and uh, you know, Arkham. I actually like or Arkham Origins a lot better than Arkham City, but I you know it's still not as good as Arkham Asylum, which is really, really great. Uh, it plays almost like a Zelda game, not in the sense of, um, not in the sense of like you know the the mechanics, but more of the way of you you go through different areas, you get an item, and you use that item you know, to continue through the area. But this is really fantastic, and it's not too much money either, so I would definitely recommend it. Bioshock Infinite. Um, played a little bit of it. A lot of people really liked it. I, I couldn't really get into it. Brutal Legend. Uh, Tim Schafer Games. The same guy who made, like, uh, what's that? Oh, gosh. What, Grim Fandango. He made uh, <clears throat> Psychonauts. Uh kind of weird game. Uh, Call, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Got this for cheap. I play it online sometimes with friends. Uh, I haven't even played the story mode because I don't care. Let me see. Eternal Sin Sonata, which uh, I have yet to play this as well, but I would really like to jump into this soon. I just haven't had the time because I've heard this is a fantastic RPG, so I want to really try this soon, but I have not yet done that. Uh, Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remaster. And I really like Final Fantasy X. I think it Final, Final Fantasy X is fantastic, um, and this HD remaster is really nice. Comes in a nice, you know, art book case. Uh, really nice limited edition there. Final Fantasy XIII and uh, Final Fantasy XIII too. I couldn't really get into Final Fantasy XIII. I it was it was the game's gorgeous and uh, the battle system is actually pretty good, but I don't know. Couldn't really get into it. And I haven't played 13-2 yet, but um, I've actually heard it's better. I've heard it's worse. I don't know what to believe. But uh, maybe I'll try Final Fantasy 13 again. Let's see here. Heavy Rain. I haven't played this yet, but I've I've heard mixed things about it. Some people think it's awful. Some think people love it. Um, it's what, What's his name? David Cage. <laughs> everyone, everyone either loves or hates his game, so I have not played this yet, but um, so I cannot tell you if I love or hate his game. Uh, Eco in the Shadow of Colossus collection. I got this on clearance for like six dollars. It's still sealed. I haven't played it yet. Uh, people say these are both excellent games. I just have not um, been in the mood to play something like that. Infamous. I got this for real cheap, and I really don't like it. Um, it's just not my thing. I don't. I don't like open world games. I don't like stuff like that. So, it doesn't really do anything for me. Katamari Forever. Picked this up at the Goodwill. Uh, very strange game. <laughs> very strange game. I'm sure everyone knows that. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD remake. Uh, HD remix, I guess. Uh, you know, probably the best way to play Kingdom Hearts now it comes with, you know, the first Kingdom Hearts, the, the final mix. I'm not, I think that's just a different version of first one. And then, um, it comes with, I didn't know it came with chain of mem the rechain of memories on it in HD as well. 
Uh, but yeah, I would say definitely pick that up if you have not played the Kingdom Hearts games, or if you like them, because it's a pretty good uh, remake. Lego Lord of the Rings, and you know, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, which, you know, I like it, but I'm not a huge fan, you definitely owe it to yourself to play this, actually, because it is a really, really good, uh, you know, like, game for the Lord of the Rings. Uh, there's an open world Middle Earth, which I just said I don't like open world games, but, you know, I thought this open world was really cool. Open world Middle Earth, um, pretty, really accurate retellings in Lego form, so they're kind of humorous in, of the, um, the Lord of the Rings movies, and, uh, it's easy platinum as well, um, but, but, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. It's, like, less than $20, too. And, uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. <laughs> if you're a Marvel fan, I would say definitely, I definitely recommend this as well, because I'm a, I like Marvel a lot, and, uh, yeah, this is really cool. Lots of, lots of different Marvel superheroes and supervillains, and just really, like, oddball characters they threw in there just for fun, and, uh, you know, it's pretty fun. I like both the Lego games. Mass Effect 3. I got this for like a dollar fifty, and I have not played it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. And man, I hate the game, the old GameStop stickers were the worst because that did not come off easily. Uh, yeah, this is a good uh, HD collection. I would say if you want to get into Metal Gear Solid, this is probably a, a good collection to get. Um, it does not have the first game. So, uh, but it has two, which I, I love Metal Gear Solid 2. It's one of my favorite games. Um, three, which I don't like as much as two. I don't know why I like two so much, because that's everyone's least favorite, but I love Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 and the Peace Walker, which is the PSP game. So I would definitely say to pick this up. If you want to play, you know, all the Metal Gear Solid games, I'd say get Twin Snakes on the GameCube. Get this HD collection to play two and three, because uh, Twin Snakes is a remake of the first game. Uh, get this HD collection to get two and three. And then get four, which is uh, right here, and I've only played a little bit of, and I, I can't get into four. I don't know why. I think it's taking itself a little bit too seriously, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to... I'm going to think I'm going to restart it, because I, I didn't get too far, and see if I can make my way through before uh, the, the fifth game comes out. But yeah, I would say definitely pick up the HD collection, um, because Metal Gear Solid's a really good series if you've not played it. I got here Metal Gear Rising, which is complete oddball, really. <laughs> Um, it is a, it's a action game by Platinum Games, who's also made, uh, The Wonderful 101 and Bayonetta, and this is r really fun, it's just, it's, everyone, people complained it was short, uh, it's like six hours long, but it has really good replay value, and it is, well, I think it's a lot of fun, um, it's fun just cutting robots up and slicing them all over the place, it's great. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, um, I, I bought this for like two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, I like, I like having a racing game on like every system, and uh, this is actually pretty fun. Never Dead. I bought this for like three dollars, brand new, and it's still sealed. Um, but I hear it's like a crazy game where you're like a zombie, you throw your head around and everything. So <laughs> sounds weird. Hmm. Persona Four Arena. Um, I have not picked up Ultimax yet, but that's out now. And, uh, this is actually pretty interesting because it's, you know, it's calling itself a sequel to Persona 4, but it's not an RPG. It's actually a fighting game by the people who made, uh, Blaze Blue. And, uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. It gets a little bit repetitive because there's a story, there's a story, um, mode for each character. So it's like uh, each character is, goes from maybe like 45 minutes to two hours, it just depends. And, uh, you know, it, it has to establish things for each character every time. Like, in, in the uh, tournament, there's invisible walls. So each character has to find out there's invisible walls. And it's just tedious stuff like that, where it's the same dialogue over and over again, saying, like, oh, man, there's an invisible wall. And someone says, like, the same exact dialogue, like, yeah, there's an invisible wall because you can't get through it until unless you've beaten that person in the, the room. And it's like, oh, get on with it. But otherwise, I really enjoy this. Um, definitely recommend if you played Persona 4 and you enjoyed that. Portal 2. I don't know. People are going to hate me this, but I don't like Valve. I don't like their games don't interest me. I I tried Half-Life 2, didn't thrill me. Um played the first Portal. Uh it's it's an interesting concept, but it gets boring, I think. But if I can say one thing about Portal 2 is that it's the co-op is fun. Resident Evil 5, which again, Resident Evil 5 is a great co-op game. 
Uh, I have not played this single player. I've only played it co-op, and Resident Evil 5 is a blast to play co-op. Uh, I, I can assume that the single player is probably not as fun, but uh, definitely play that co-op if you have a friend that's willing to play that with you, because it is a blast. And uh, Resident Evil 6, which I have not yet played, but I, I, I heard this one's bad, but I still might try to get my friend that I played Resident Evil 5 with to play uh, Resident Evil 6 with me, just to check it out. Um, Resonance of Fate, which is a uh, RPG, and I've heard this is really good. I want to give this a try. Uh, I have just like a big list of RPGs I want to play, and uh, I can't get through them all because RPGs are, of course, really long. But uh, yeah, I hear this is really good, and it looks really interesting to me, so I want to check this out. Any RPG that pulls itself like not in like a fantasy world definitely wins me over because I think the, the fantasy world thing's kind of, you know, like a token-esque um, fantasy world kind of, I don't know, it's not hugely my thing, but uh, yeah, that looks interesting, and I have got to check that out. Rocksmith, which I have the cable in the box over there. Uh, I also have this on the th 360, just because I found the whole game like complete in the GameStop dumpster. But um, Rocksmith is, it's interesting. Uh, I don't like this one particular be particularly because the, the, the set list is garbage. I don't, there's not any good songs on it, in my opinion at least. Um, the, I think the second game has better songs, but it's still not fantastic by any means. But uh, as someone who started out, I play bass, but I started out on guitar, so I know a little bit of guitar, and I, few, I knew a few songs from Lessons on this, so it's kind of fun to mess around with. I, I wouldn't recommend it for trying to teach you to learn how to guitar, play guitar. I would recommend it if you know you want if you already play a little bit of guitar and you want to, um, uh, you know, keep going with it. Uh, it's just disappointing that it doesn't have any bass on it, because I'd much rather play bass. Um, the bass is like a DLC download that's like 20 bucks, and I don't really want to pay that, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, next up here we got <coughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, or Sonic 06, and this game's bad. I bought it just because I knew how bad it was, and, uh... Yeah, it's bad. It's it's funny bad, though. It's fun to just, like, break out and play it. Uh, I think I beat the whole Sonic like campaign in this game. And, yeah, it's bad. I'm not going to lie and say it's, like, good. It's a terrible game. Sonic Unleashed. I have not actually played this. I got this. It was actually brand new at the flea market. Some guy had it. I took the seal off because the seal was really dirty. But, yeah, I got this for, like, two dollars or something i've heard mixed things about this i've heard like the sonic stages are fun but you have like this weird werewolf hedgehog thing and those stages are terrible so uh, i'll check that out when i'm in a sonic mood i guess sonic generations which is fantastic i would definitely recommend sonic generations because it takes a bunch of sonic levels it it's fun to play it's great um i would yeah i would for sure recommend you play sonic generations even if you're not really a sonic fan I'd still say play it because it's a lot of fun, and I, I've replayed it like three times. It's just a blast to run through. Star Wars: The Force Unleashed, which is, uh, it's an it's an all right game, I guess. I don't really have anything to say about it. Tales of Graces F. I have not played this one as well as a lot of RPGs I have in the PS3. It's just they they take a lot of time, but I got this at the pawn shop for like five dollars, which is a great deal. And uh, Tales games are great. I really like the Tales games because they have a, a, some good style and uh, the, the 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 RPG elements are fun because they're, they're an action RPG more than a uh, stri like a uh, like a basic like menu based RPG and uh, they're they're good fun. Also got Tales of Zillia. Don't have Tales of Zillia two yet, but I'd like to pick that up. And uh, this is pretty good. I actually got this is I have the the boxes over somewhere else. I have the. Um, because I don't have room for it, but I have the, the I don't know if it's the special edition or the limited edition uh, that came with it. It comes with a CD, I think, and an art book, and then a bigger box. And I got that for 20 bucks on Black Friday at uh, GameStop, because they had the sticker for, like, Tales of Zillia being 20 bucks, and I don't think it was supposed to be 20 bucks for the special edition, but they gave it to me for that because someone put the sticker on it. So, cool. Masters. Tomb Raider, which I would definitely recommend this, either for the PS3 or 360. Um, 
Or I think it's it's on PS4 and Xbox One and PC as well. They they made a remastered version of this. Uh, this is really good. Like this is really good stuff, and I'm excited for the the next one of this. Um, because this is a very good game. Uh, it's a lot like Uncharted, but it also I think it's good enough to be its own thing as well. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. It's very good. And then Uncharted, Uncharted Two, and Uncharted Three. Uh, and they un I have not played Uncharted Three, but Uncharted One and Two are both very good games. Um, but yeah, I I really like the Uncharted games. I think they're really good. Uh, Uncharted 2 has some amazing graphics, and they came out in 2009, and it has some excellent graphics. Uh, I, they, outstanding. The first game has some really good graphics, too. Uh, yeah, those two are great. I'm sure 3 is great. I just have not played it yet. Um, yeah, I would. Uncharted games are fantastic, and uh, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, that is my PlayStation 3 collection. Uh, I'd like to... Uh, I know I have a lot of games there, but I don't have every game, so... If I'm missing something, I'm, I probably know that I'm missing it. Um, but if there's any games that you'd recommend that I don't have, uh, leave a comment. Tell me some of your p favorite p PS3 games. Uh, tell me some games I should pick up. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, make sure to leave a like because it actually really helps a lot. And uh, I'll see you next time.